The Wild West of the United States is filled with fascinating and bloody stories. Throughout the 19th century, life in these lands was a constant challenge. Bandits, bounty hunters, prostitutes, revolvers, shootouts, and duels were part of daily life. This adventurous and adrenaline-fueled environment has been immortalized in countless films, where cowboys and outlaws face off in dramatic gunfights, surrounded by women and alcohol. However, behind this facade of excitement lies a dark side that left thousands dead and a legacy of violence. The Wild West was a time of adventure and danger, a place where the brave and the reckless came to seek their fortunes. It was a land of lawlessness where outlaws and gunslingers roamed free and where the strong survived and the weak perished. Today I'll introduce you to the five most dangerous cowboys in the history of the West, those men who became legends due to their speed, danger, and above all, for being the most wanted by the sheriffs of their time. Prepare to dive into their stories. Number 5. Billy the Kid. You've likely heard his name. William H. Bonney, better known as Billy the Kid, is one of the most famous gunmen of the era. By the age of 15, he had already killed two men near his home. In his teenage years he began robbing small businesses making a living however he could. His big break came when he joined a gang in New Mexico where he took down dozens of men including marshals and sheriffs. Although he was captured and faced the gallows he managed to escape, killing six guards in his flight. The governor, tired of his reign of terror decided to grant him a pardon, giving him a chance to start anew. But Billy wasn't cut out for peaceful life. At just 20 years old his innocent appearance deceived many which proved to be a fatal mistake. He returned to crime, robbing banks and killing sheriffs, amassing an impressive haul of $62,000, a fortune for his time. His death however is a mystery surrounded by contradictory tales. Some say his partner became a sheriff and killed him for the bounty, others claim he escaped and lived for many more years, while some assert he was gunned down by soldiers in his hideout. The betrayal of his partner is a persistent echo in his story, though his legacy continues to thrive in popular culture. Number 4. Jesse James Jesse James, a renowned gunman, is famous not only for his audacious criminal life, but also for holding the record for the highest bounty ever offered for his capture $50,000. Today that would be equivalent to a staggering 3 million euros. He was a popular hero in his time, regarded by many as a martyr, Intelligent, attractive, and tough as steel, James saw himself as a vigilante, not just a common outlaw. Along with his brother Frank, he formed a gang that robbed trains and state banks, achieving great hauls and leaving his mark on the history of the West. His notoriety led to substantial rewards being offered for his capture, which ultimately sealed his fate. Jesse was treacherously murdered by a 20-year-old known as the coward, Robert Ford, who, although an admirer of the famous gunman, was tempted by the bounty. Soon after, Frank James found Ford and killed him in revenge. Thus, Jesse James's story becomes a tragic reminder of the price of fame. Number 3. John Wesley Harden Moving on to John Wesley Harden, this man is considered one of the deadliest in the Wild West, with a chilling record of 58 kills, including four sheriffs, one of them the well-known Bat Masterson. Harden was a bold outlaw who preferred to work alone, dedicating himself to robbing banks and railroads, the most lucrative methods of the time. His biggest haul reached $100,000. Hardin's life was marked by violence and luck. After being wounded in a shootout, he was sentenced to death, but his story took a surprising turn. A prostitute friend managed to bribe the judge, saving him from execution. He spent 16 years in prison, where he studied law and emerged as a lawyer. However, his honorable life was short-lived. He soon returned to his criminal ways. The myth surrounding Hardin claimed that he could shoot with both hands before a man could snap his fingers. His life ended brutally. He was killed by a sheriff while playing dice in a tavern, a place that still attracts curious tourists drawn by its history. In this environment, it was every man for himself. The rule of law was tenuous at best, and often non-existent. It was a time when a man's reputation was built on his speed with a gun, his bravery in the face of danger, and his ability to look after himself in a fight. It was a time when the Code of the West, an unwritten set of rules that governed the behavior of cowboys, was the only law that mattered. The lawmen were often outnumbered and outgunned, but they refused to back down. They knew that if they didn't stand up to the outlaws, nobody else would. They were the heroes of the Wild West, and their bravery and sacrifice have become the stuff of legend. Number 2. Joaquin Murrieta 
Known as the Zorro, Joaquin Murrieta is a mythical figure who rose from Mexican nobility. His legend began after the United States invaded Mexico in 1846, at which point he became a bandit and raider of haciendas, stagecoaches, and small banks. It was said he only attacked Anglos and wealthy traders, which earned him the affection of the common people, who revered him as a modern Robin Hood. However, behind this facade, Murrieta was a bloodthirsty killer who shot anyone with money to rob. The true face of Murrieta was much darker. Not only did he finish off defenseless victims for fun, but he also took down several cavalry soldiers in his flight to freedom. His life ended at the Rio Grande, where he was shot multiple times and his body became unrecognizable, marking the end of one of the West's most notorious outlaws. Number 1. Clay Allison If Joaquin Murrieta is the Zorro, Clay Allison is the madman of the West and not without reason. From a young age, Clay was an eccentric figure in his native Texas. A cowboy and a fast-draw outlaw, his life turned even darker after the mysterious disappearance of his wife shortly after their marriage. His disregard for life became evident when, in a saloon, he shot two rangers dead for merely prohibiting him from shouting while losing. At 21, he joined the Civil War, where his lack of scruples and marksmanship quickly led to his rise as an officer. He is said to have personally executed 20 prisoners of war. After the war, the hunt for abolitionists forced him to flee and from then on, he wandered the country, leaving a trail of death behind him. Clay Allison is remembered for his violent life and skills as a gunman, with over 100 deaths to his name. It is said that he even lived with the Apaches, marrying an Indian woman and fighting alongside them. His life tragically ended, surrounded by bottles of alcohol, symbolizing not just his danger but also his descent into madness. One of the most thrilling stories of the Wild West is the gunfight at the O.K. Corral. It was a famous shootout between the lawmen and the outlaws, a battle that would decide who would control the town of Tombstone. The lawmen, led by Wyatt Earp, had been tracking the outlaws for months, and finally, they had them cornered. The outlaws, led by Curly Bill Brocious, were determined to fight to the death. The gunfight was intense and brutal, with bullets flying everywhere. The lawmen were outnumbered, but they had the advantage of surprise. They had set up an ambush and the outlaws walked right into it. In the end, the lawmen emerged victorious but not without casualties. The outlaws were either killed or wounded, and the lawmen had finally restored order to the town. What made these cowboys so legendary was their bravery, their cunning and their willingness to take risks. They were the masters of their own destiny, refusing to be bound by the rules of society. They were the true embodiment of the American spirit, and their legend has lived on long after they are gone. So what do you think makes a cowboy legendary? Is it their bravery, their cunning, or their willingness to take risks? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check out my next video on the Wild West legends who shaped American history. These men are a testament to the dark corners of Western history. If you enjoyed this part of the story, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep discovering thousands of fascinating tales. If you have any questions or comments, I would be happy to answer. Thank you for your attention.